Hey there, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing A Dick in a Box. Let's get to it, huh? Okay, so if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, you probably remember ages ago when I reviewed a Tantily Torso. Well, I didn't review it. I unboxed it. I pulled it out and wiggled it around and the crunchy dick was weird. Well, I finally, thanks to the magic of cleaning and dildo inventorying, found it and pulled it out and tried it. So, in my handy dandy notebook, we are now going to be doing a review. Now, this is technically... <clears throat> The Edward 18.47 pound threesome male torso from the brand Do Real Be Real on the Tantaly website. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get this big bitch out of the box so that we can actually see him. Fair warning, there will be peen. Now, with how this thing is packaged, it is there's a lot of styrofoam and it is a heavy torso, but we'll get to that. So it comes with a packet of lube, a giant styrofoam spacer, and a big floppy man. Now, one thing that I do want to bring up is that this has been sitting in a bag in a box. And I wanna show you the bottom of the box, okay? Oh my God, his dick's in the way. Get over there. Okay, can you see the greasy imprint on the bottom of the box? This is why I say that non-silicone materials are not safe. They ooze. Even though this was kept between 60 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit, this was kept in a box in a fairly stable location. It still oozed whatever it is onto my cardboard to a degree where you can see it. And that's gross. Just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna pull this packaging off and then we'll get to talking about the body. That's not important. All right, so this is how this thing came packaged in basically a plastic bag in a box. Not impressive, but whatever. <clears throat> when you pull it out, it is, well, about 20 pounds of floppy flesh colored well, they say that it is medical grade TPE. It might be. I mean, you never know. There's no, there's no way of making these companies, you know, disclose properly. So who knows? It does have a vague flesh lighty smell to it that fake skin textures tend to get. And it is a torso, mostly, with a giant crunchy dick. All right, let me move the camera down a bit so you can see him, because this thing is heavy and I don't wanna hold it up for the whole video. One sec. All right, not perfect, but it'll do. So, this toy is generically flesh colored, well, for a percentage of the population, and comes dusted with a fine powder. Now this is the same kind of powder that they're gonna give you when you get any sort of fake flesh material. It's basically cornstarch. In terms of the feel, it's dense, but not like real, quasi-realistically dense. If you're not, you know, trying to put your finger through it, 
it's got a meaty feel to it that does kind of feel like those super muscly gym bros where you tap them and they're always flexing at you. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like. The collarbones are realistic-ish. The weird little amputee nubs are realistic-ish. The nipples I find hilarious because you can literally tug on them. This would be a great way for me to practice like nipple piercing. That part's nifty. The abs again have that vaguely humanoid feel to them. It is interesting, you know, but not, not sexy. Because my problem with these is that they are, they're little, you know? And I've never been one for partners that are much, much smaller than me. Like I don't go for spinners. I don't really go for like the twink body type. None of that, that's not my thing. So this was a little weird for me to try to be sexy with during a premium show. And also price. For this 20 pounds of squiggly meat, it's about $190 on the Tantily website. Now, they say that it perfectly imitates the figure of a bonny young man with an erect penis and that it is a source of happiness for straight men. We're gonna take that at face value. They make a point of saying that this is a toy for threesomes so that couples that wish to bring another male into the bedroom but don't wish to bring another male into the bedroom should spend about 200 bucks on this thing and with it instead. So I don't know, that's a thing. I do need to bring up that the medical grade TPE, it, it, I don't know if it's medical grade. I'm not arguing that part. TPE is a problem. TPE is not sterilizable. It is barely cleanable. It is not body safe over the long term because it's porous. You can feel the texture on it when you touch it. And those pores mean that if you get pussy dust on it, it's gonna get down into the holes, which means over time it can grow mold, which means over time that you won't be able to trust that it's body safe anymore. That part's gross. That's why I used a condom. Now, things about it that are actually good. It's got a good weight. It's got a good heft. The dick is actually reasonably realistic, although for some reason, I think I twisted it when I used it because now the head is angled that way compared to everything else. And I can't seem to like twist it. Oh God, you can. So if you get it and you rotate it around the inner shaft, you can adjust where the head is. That part's cool. Part I don't like. I get why they did this. They want the, they want the dick to be adjustable so that you can hit your G spot or whatever. What happened to me is that when I was over this thing bouncing, you would occasionally hear, which is A, distracting if you're trying to use it for work on a premium show, and B, just kind of unsexy to occasionally hear, not great. Um, it, I will give it points for genital realism. We're doing this upside down, he's heavy. The balls? decent, reasonable, kind of look like balls. They've kind of got the right texture for a very tight scrotum. They even gave him a little butthole, which was cute. It's not very functional. It's only about a knuckle deep, but I mean, I guess if you want to practice sticking a finger in there, it'll do. Cool. Now the dick. There is firmness in the shaft up to here. Everything up here is a very soft, squishy TPE. Now the downside to that is I am used to, with cis male partners at least, being able to just sit on a dick without having to hold it in place. So when you get lined up on this, 
and you get ready to sit on it, it folds. It very aggressively folds if you are not like wet and not tight. So I wound up having to hold it basically here to firm up the top half enough that I could get it in. Once you get it in, it's not so much of a problem, but if you slip out, you've got to get a hand down there again. It makes it a little difficult during shows to make it look natural and sexy if you're constantly having to like choke it off to make it work right. Now, just from using it once, I've already noticed some issues in the dick. Hang on, I'm gonna hop up here and bring it to the camera so I can show you. Oh, he's hefty. You know, for an Ikea desk, this thing does pretty well. And the mic goes up. And the dick comes here. Come here, dick. Oof. All right. Now this is the part where I tell you that I did not at any point intentionally create damage on this dick. This is just what has happened over the course of one half hour long premium show where I utilized a condom. There was a blowjob involved, but I was not any harder on this thing than I am on any of my other normal toys. Now, let's see if I can get the dick in focus so I can show you the problems. I'm moving my Starbucks. Okay. God, it's hard to do because the dick is so pale, but right here where my fingers are, you can see two small divots where it looks like the TPE has opened up. There's another one here at the very base that almost looks like a rip. There is one on the back of the shaft right there below my finger. That one's a little harder to see because it's less of a rip and more of just a rub. There are multiple small ones here. Oh yeah. And this side was the really bad side. <laughs> Where, if I can get it in the light, there. You can see there where there are multiple tears or other problems. And I don't know what happened because I don't use my teeth. I didn't use my nails and it's still, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, so I don't know. It's just kind of like vaguely a problem where after one use, I shouldn't already be seeing issues with the TPE. I feel like the care and storage on this is unnecessarily complex if you want it to maintain. I definitely worry that over time it's going to degrade. I'm already at a point where just from handling it today, you can almost see where my hands are shiny. They've got a slick feeling to them. And I think that's from touching the bottom where the oils have been collecting and seeping out. Yeah, the bottom definitely has more of the toy smell. And honestly, I don't like the weird crunchy dick. It's cool, I guess, in terms of being able to like customize it, but I really just don't feel like over time it's a good toy. Do I know how long it'll take to degrade? No. I got this during quarantine early. I think this thing is about a year old and we're already at a point where it's creating ooze in the box. It's developing small tears with mild use. Yeah, yeah. 
it's at a point where I wouldn't trust it to even put it in my mouth again. So what I'll probably wind up doing with this thing is shooting some sort of like CBT, something like that, where there's a lot of, you know, stuff that the toy can handle, but it's not going to get used in anything penetrative again because I don't trust the material it's made of and I don't particularly trust its continued body safety. So if you want a toy for maybe a year for like 200, 190 bucks, go for it. I don't, I don't love this. I don't really have any intent to keep this, but I also can't foist it off on anyone else. So there's probably gonna be a lot of CBT or something and that'll be the end of it. Oh, might as well bring out Joe. So if you're not aware, Joe here is my statistically average penis. He is the most average penis I could find online. He is what science says an average penis is. If we compare Joe to this, it's actually not that much bigger. It's probably got inch and a half on him. Oh, your little mustache. So it is within the realm of average plus. Yeah, it's got about an inch and a half more length. It is definitely bigger in terms of girth, but on the flip side, Joe is firm. This thing is super soft, so it's not gonna feel super huge. If you want actual measurements, I just had my measuring, that'll do. The peen is about seven and a quarter inches from the front. The usable is about seven inches. The diameter is close to one and a half inches. Hopefully I'll remember to get those in centimeters and put them up. Oh, they say the penis is 6.3 inches or 16 centimeters. I don't think so. I think it's bigger. But either way, honestly, I don't think you should buy it because I don't think it's a great torso. And I honestly feel like I need to go wash just from touching it this much. So I'm going to get my na weird naked dick man off my fucking bed. And I'm probably going to go scrub my arms. Um, if you want to find me anywhere I exist online, that is beacons.ai slash lillabunt. If you want to throw me a couple bucks on Ko-Fi, that would be super awesome. You can do that at ko-fi.com slash Lily O'Reilly. In general, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!